Hello, arts community. My name is Tamia Arai. This is Elizabeth Moy. This is Betty Yu. We are the Chinatown Art Brigade, a collective of Asian American artists, media makers, and activists with roots in New York Chinatown. Our work is driven by a deep love for our community and the fundamental belief that fighting against racial and economic inequity is central to our cultural and art making processes. Since its founding in 2015, the Chinatown Art Brigade has facilitated a series of community-led responses to gentrification and displacement. Created in partnership with the Chinatown Tenants Union and CAV, organizing Asian communities who have been organizing for tenants' rights for over 10 years. While change is inevitable, gentrification is not. We need community-led rezoning policies that put people, people before profits. We must preserve and protect low-income tenants, immigrants, the working class, and people of color who are the lifeblood of New York City, while honoring and recognizing we are all on Lenape land. The Chinatown Art Brigade and organizations like CAV are working together to demand that Mayor de Blasio approve a community rezoning plan, one that is eight years in the making, that will protect Chinatown and the Lower East Side and low-income residents from losing their homes. By creating, by creating more intentional spaces for dialogue and engagement in Chinatown, the Brigade has aimed to put a more diverse human face on gentrification. We have done this through large-scale public projections, panels, placekeeping walks, exhibitions, protests, and even convenings with galleries who are concerned about their roles as gentrifiers. We are actively working with other cultural collectives, such as The Illuminator, Decolonize This Place, and Mikasa Noa Sukasa, to mobilize a citywide public resistance against gentrification and the forces that enact it. With the core belief that self-determination should be a leading principle in our work, we have given local residents a way to tell their own stories of displacement and celebrated their resistance and resilience. And we believe that our women-led, community-driven, creative process is just one of many new and powerful organizing models for change. At a time when hyperdevelopment and real estate investments on a global scale threaten to evict and displace the residents who have called Chinatown their home for over 150 years, we also recognize that this is not just about Chinatown. This goes way beyond Chinatown. This is about uh, corporate-driven greed and profit and capitalism. Historic neighborhoods across the country, from Boyle Heights in Los Angeles to Treme in New Orleans to Harlem in New York City, we are facing destruction and erasure of our people and culture like never before. Luxury development and widespread art washing threatens to displace generations of families and small businesses who are the heart and soul of our communities. As artists and activists, we must act now to protect our homes and our communities from an uncertain future. What does it mean for artists to work collectively at a time when our new government, the, the new president of the United States, is a billionaire real estate mogul that has made billions off scamming and exploiting the backs of working people? We will not let this administration or anybody else divide us along lines of race, gender, sexuality, class, religion, or abilities. We stand united with our comrades in the immigrant rights, housing rights, women's rights, LGBTQ, climate justice, labor rights, racial justice, and all other communities fighting white supremacy, hate, and injustice. This is the time for us. Yes. Thank you. This, this is a time for us artists, cultural workers, and the creative community to continue to create art that changes hearts and minds, that agitates and provokes hearts and minds to take action. This is a time that we stand in the front lines with people who are most oppressed and exploited and oppressed um, in their communities. This is a time for us to stand with them, to resist and organize in these uncertain and fascist and scary times. So I'm gonna end with a chant, because that's what I do as an activist. Um, I'm gonna chant uh, Donald Trump is not my president, and I'm gonna say Donald Trump, and you're gonna say, is not my president. Donald Trump! Is not my president! Donald Trump! Is not my president! Donald Trump! Is not my president! Donald Trump! Is not my president!
Donald Trump. It's not my president. Thank you. We are the ones we've been waiting for. Thank you. Let's go out in the streets.